Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at my build for the Red Legends Limited Vegeta and basically uh, how good he is after his Zenkai. So for those who don't know, uh, Red Legends Limited Vegeta got his Zenkai relatively recently uh, during the course of the Legends Festival celebration uh, and yeah, I mean, you yeah, know, pretty good unit. To be honest, obviously, you know, the Zenkai was definitely needed uh, to kind of boost him and his options. Uh, the red powerful opponent tag was added in with the Zenkai boost, which, you know, I don't know how much powerful opponent benefited from it, but definitely is something that's uh, needed a bit of a boost uh, in terms of his uh, abilities. So pretty standard kind of kit that we've got here for the most part. Uh, you know, we're talking main ability, uh, restoration of health, increase of key, uh, increased ultimate damage, time accounts. He's got a lot of uh, increase to Saiyan or Son family characters, which is pretty good in terms of damage. Uh, and then he also have, weirdly has quite a lot of increased damage against blue characters, which is also pretty interesting, uh, to be honest with you. So it's quite an interesting uh, kind of mix of boosts against certain characters. He has damage reduction, you got further damage reduction when he comes in from a combo. Uh, a lot of uh, tempo mitigation abilities for him. So when he appears from combos and things like that, definitely has uh, kind of this big boost uh, in terms of like mitigating the opposition, causing uh, disruption to the opposition, uh, which is all pretty good. He also has kind of a nice counter capabilities against opponents that revive uh, from zero. So for opponents that gain health when they revive from zero, he reduces the overall health that they have, uh, which again, is something that's pretty decent. It's not something that's insane. Um, I think, you know, whenever you look at the capabilities uh, of a, like, how can I say, whenever you look at the, you know, capabilities of a unit, the ability to mitigate the amount of health that a unit uh, restores from zero with is not super high on the list. A lot of players just like full modification of the revive when health reaches zero effect, uh, but still pretty good. Uh, we then also have the uh, green card. His green card is really solid. Uh, his green card is one of those green cards that's a very good ability. Uh, it's very similar to like the, you know, green cards for example the duo green ss4 units or things like that uh, whereby you can use it to inherently uh, combo into other characters so when his green card hits he'll restore his key uh, increases key recovery and also increases damage nullify uh, special cover change abilities uh, and you'll be able to combo into you know strike cards and things like that which i think is really good uh, overall so yeah in general some solid stuff uh, from his kit in terms of team uh, Vegeta clan probably the best team from right now uh, got a lot of benefit from having a super red Vegeta means that you can run him in a double red lineup with the double boost from trunks the super saiyan trunks Zenkai uh, also really helps out here uh, giving a Zenkai to Vegeta clan which is also pretty good for him so you might see a bit of an increase in play from him. Uh, not that he's you know, become super meta, but he's definitely right. Uh, powerful opponent, red characters. Not gonna say that they're huge on the list right now. Powerful opponent, red characters are not super big in the uh, list of super powerful characters. I think Ultra Hit, probably the biggest beneficiary of the whole red powerful opponent tag. You have like red Goku Rose, uh, but it's not like he's insane. Uh, so I wouldn't really put him down as like a huge beneficiary. Um, he's still a sparking character. But yeah, uh, in future, uh, I guess also Fusion's Master counts as a beneficiary of that as well. So pretty decent stuff. Uh, the big thing with Vegeta is he has really nice combo capabilities off of his Strike Arts cards. So the Strike Arts cards will reduce the cost of his ultimate. Uh, and also give him key back. So very often than not, what you can do is you can kind of combo from a couple strike hearts 
uh, into an ultimate fairly easily. Um, that's kind of like his big play mechanic, I want to say, uh, without you know speaking too much into it. I would say that's probably his big play mechanic. It's his big uh, kind of capabilities, and then like I said, you can kind of combo up with the green card and just kind of make life a bit difficult uh, for the opposition. But yeah, I'd say you know Vegeta is decent. Obviously, right now in terms of meta. There are a couple blue units floating around. Uh, blue Janemba, Blue Bardock, Slash Goku, Blue Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, but there are also a couple yellows uh, floating around as well that you can uh, obviously see a lot of value in um, Vegeta and dealing with. So like yellow MUI for example uh, is a pretty big, you know, good counterpoint for Vegeta. Because Vegeta's got to all those increased damages uh, against you know, Son family, against Saiyan, so it does tend to help out uh, a little bit, and so he could be a relatively good counter for that. Uh, I'm not going to say that Vegeta's OP, but I do think uh, he's a pretty good unit. I do see usability in him, and I think in general I think he's pretty solid, uh, at least from my perspective. I do think the biggest issue he has is he's not got a lot of relatively tanky mechanisms uh, that can kind of protect him from being, I guess, kind of gunned down or nuked down. Uh, he's not super duper tanky. He has a little bit of tankiness uh, when he interrupts off of a combo, uh, which is pretty good. But outside of that, he's not inherently super tanky. Yeah, he doesn't necessarily uh, throw down amazing tankiness. He does do decent damage, and he does do decent ultimate damage. And the green card is definitely good, so there is definite merit to him. Uh, but a lot of the times, he feels like an in-and-out kind of character, and he's designed that way. You know, he reduces his sub count, he gains damage depending on how many times he's been subbed out and subbed in. He's meant to be more of a finisher than anything else, uh, more than a starter because he gains damage, uh, the more total time accounts to the past, the more times that he's been subbed out. He has ways to reduce his um, you know, substitution time accounts and things like that. So I do think overall, there's definitely a space whereby he showcases that he's more of a first style damage dealer, more than anything else. Um, but still a very good, very fun unit. And I must admit, at the end of the day, I do find him uh, to be a solid roster option. I have enjoyed using him on this team. I think the Zenkai boost does help him a little bit. I think potentially being an option for Vegeta Clan is pretty good as well. Uh, as a pseudo backup, if you don't have the Super Vegeta, I think he's definitely quite solid. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think from my perspective, that's kind of it, uh, realistically speaking. I don't think there's a lot more you can kind of focus in on with his kit. I think you can kind of get the gist of what he's like. Um, I think he's a good impact damage dealer, nothing more. Um, he's not OP uh, in terms of like, you know, I guess, uh, how he functions. But for me, he's definitely a very, very, very solid unit. Um, that you can use to kind of help out the team and just keep things ticking over and yeah fill in a nice red slot on your team um, so for me good unit fun unit nice unit um, and yeah I think overall a good good pick but that's it for me see you guys in the next video till then take care stay safe and as always thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time bye